You know what hurts you. You really know what hurts you, way more than an animal knows. And so, and you're also creative. And so once you know what hurts you, man, you can really hurt someone else. Friedrich Nietzsche, a thinker from the past, often talked about how hard times and challenges are just a part of being human. He thought that when we face and conquer tough times, we can actually become stronger and better as individuals. You might have heard his famous saying, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Nietzsche also had this idea called amor fati, which means loving your fate. This means accepting the good and bad things that happen to you, even if they're painful as a way to become a better person. When Nietzsche got older, he had a lot of health problems like bad headaches, stomach issues, and problems with his mental health. These health problems caused him a lot of pain and discomfort. People believe that his struggles with health actually influenced his thoughts about pain and becoming stronger through tough times. Because of his health problems, Nietzsche tried different ways to feel better. He even used medicines, including some strong ones like painkillers and things that make you relaxed. Sometimes using these medicines might have affected how he thought and how he felt overall. It's important to know that back in the 1800s, people understood and used medicines differently than we do now, and some of these medicines could have had effects that they didn't know about. In 1889, Nietzsche had a time when his mind wasn't working well anymore. This happened when he was in a place called Turin in Italy. People still argue about exactly what happened to him, but it basically marked the end of his time as a big thinker. After this, he spent the last years of his life with his sister, who sometimes changed his ideas to fit her own thoughts. To sum it up, Nietzsche's ideas about pain, tough times, and using medicines are connected to what he thought about life. Even though he wrote about how facing pain can help us grow, his own experiences with pain and health problems also shaped what he believed. People still talk a lot about Nietzsche's later years, his health issues, and how the medicines he used affected his thinking. Here's a lighthearted and fictional funny story involving Friedrich Nietzsche, and a playful take on his relationship with drugs. Once upon a time in a little German village, Friedrich Nietzsche found himself in quite the peculiar situation. He had been working tirelessly on his philosophical ideas, pondering the depths of human existence, when he stumbled upon a mysterious bottle of colorful pills. Curiosity got the best of him, and he decided to try one, just to see what would happen. To his surprise, as soon as he swallowed the pill, he was transported into a whirlwind of absurdity. The world around him began to twist and turn, with trees dancing and clouds forming shapes of ancient philosophers debating each other. Nietzsche's mustache even seemed to take on a life of its own, performing a waltz in the breeze. As he tried to gather his thoughts, a talking squirrel hopped onto his shoulder and started sharing its philosophical musings. They engaged in a spirited debate about the meaning of life, with the squirrel arguing for the significance of acorns in the grand scheme of things. Nietzsche couldn't help but chuckle at the absurdity of the situation. Amidst the laughter, Nietzsche realized that the pill had turned his serious contemplations into a whimsical adventure. He wandered through the village, engaging in conversations with imaginary beings and pondering the metaphysical implications of a particularly bouncy rubber ball he found on the ground. Eventually, the effects of the pill began to wear off, and Nietzsche found himself sitting under a tree, still giggling at the antics of his imaginary friends. He had experienced a moment of pure, joyful absurdity, a stark contrast to his usual contemplations of suffering and the eternal recurrence. And so, the great philosopher returned to his work with a newfound appreciation for the lighter side of life. He often recounted his whimsical adventure as a reminder that even the most profound thinkers need a dose of silliness every now and then. From that day on, Nietzsche's mustache seemed to twinkle mischievously, as if holding the secret to his delightful escapade. 